We are going to hover some stuff, but we'll, we're not, we're not going to get carried away until it actually gets locked in. Ziggs. Ziggs. It, and is that, that six mid, I imagine. Any uh, we know, we don't APA know for sure. enjoyers? Yeah, well, we're not sure yet. We're not sure. It definitely could still be bought. You uh, can. I, I like having at least some sort of AP topside. That kind of confirms it. Yeah. Uh, has real karma here for aiming in Kellen. It's not going to be Ziggs karma. Uh, I'll tell you that. I really don't think so, at least. Um, yeah, should be Ezreal Karma. Just a classic duo bot lane. Feeling really good. But the, the interesting part of it is really... So I'm not going to yeah. be feeling great about that. So, Showmaker hit level 2 first, and he is going to miss his second Q, but he's already done a nice amount of harass here to Karis. As meanwhile, down at the bottom lane, 2v2 level 2s as the shield comes in, aiming... Just doesn't feel like it really wins the matchup anymore as DRX Oh my god. Chovy. DRX Chovy. <laughs> 20 DRX 20. Chovy. Yeah. DRX Chovy. It's happening Valdas. He's got a big bomb. I can feel it. And he's not afraid to use it. Now, about two seconds away and now this bottom lane is in so much trouble. They're just up against the wall. They have to flash away from the bomb and they do get out of there. But they're being zoned away once again. And potentially come in here and and try to force a 2v1 knowing where Young Jay is. But Morgan is gonna drop a ward. And now we got an engage on the bottom side here. Kellen in a little bit of trouble, but Palu maybe in more as one Q is gonna line it up and Kellen, oh the long range all from Young Jay does knock him down. Uh, with Renex into Nar, there are a lot of windows where you can be in trouble with Nar because it's showmaker. It's gonna TP towards this play. He's TPing mid. And uh, the True Shot Barrage is going to hit two people here. They're really trying to get on top of Lucid, who does flash away. But the Steal of the Dragon comes in. King is here. Lucid's still low, but MV is isolated by himself in the back line. Now Morgan going to TP into this play himself, but he is 1v4. And he will swiftly be traded back eventually. They give the kill over to Showmaker, who now has two kills under his belt. Well, go mid! No, no, don't go mid! Go bot! Oh, Showmaker! He would be dead before 14 minutes. But instead, um, it's just going to stay alive. I, I credit to Breon. They take a lot of poke, but I actually like their willingness to go in here. I think the problem is they over-invest, right? Polo uses his full set of cooldowns, and that play then works if you actually 100-0 Lucid, which they don't, and then they take so much damage coming through. The back line is completely fine, and Showmaker is legitimately just throwing... <laughs> That's a Ziggs impression. Uh -huh. It's really good. In Korean. Really? Now, it looks like aiming's gonna get the turret anyway, because uh, everybody went mid on the side of bro, end or top. So, Kingen is very dead, absolutely 100% super dead, as three people will isolate and kill him. And aiming was given a free lane in the bottom side. So at least he got the turret. Yeah, but they could have gotten both. I, I, you know what? Maybe they could have. But you know what? They're gonna get two plays. So now they're getting even more kills on Apollo, who's having a rough time in this. It's a great comp here from DK. <laughs> And Morgan's on the flank. This is one way to deal with poke comps, is to find a really good flank. Now he's going to be spotted. TP is coming in, and Karis not going to find the divide. Finally gets in there and divides the Maokai. Showmaker, though, is isolated and killed. Down he will go, but the roots are coming down here onto Karis, who will have to back away as Morgan taken for a little walk by the Karma. As you see, they're trying to take this 4v5. Morgan is isolated and taken down as Bro is not able to help them out all too much. Mana Moon is Spike, and I like this aggressiveness from Breon, but it's going to be about the fight. The dragon is going to be gone. Yeah, uh, Young Jake goes in trying to steal the Drake, but instead nearly dies. In goes Envy into five people. Is doing a lot of damage here to aiming, but eventually he gets taken out as a, a very optimistic play, I would say, from Envy. And the rest of the team is now just being run off here. As Morgan super low, Young Jay looks like he will get away, but can't say the same about the Croc, as they have ample amounts of CC, even the Gnar into the wall, just for good measure. I don't think we're we'll seeing the soul in this one, Veldas. Paulo caught between a Ziggs and a Gnar. I don't think he's getting out. Nope, he will not. Um, <laughs> down he goes, he just accepts his fate, no need to flash there. Of well, it is the story of um, it's the story of delight. Back when you know saying delight was a good support was still kind of a hipster thing to do. Yeah. And obviously, recently I think his form has been more up and down, but the team just relies on him so much. 
Like, yeah, it definitely the, does. The, such an ex uh, insane so, extent. But when you, you, you've got Maokai and by insanely strong. Aiming is just. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Wait. Yeah. So this is the turn I was talking about. I guess. Uh, they're just their ability to just poke them down before they even get there. They're not even there. They can't even get to the Baron. The Morgan's here. Okay, he's gonna try to turn on to aiming, and now we've got a lot of damage on aiming. He's in a bit of trouble. Kellen also is very low, but aiming is gonna survive. They can't even take down the Ezreal as Kellen is going to be the one guy who goes down. Everybody's chasing an Ezreal while Morgan dies in mid. He's gonna take that match. Yeah. Well, oh, Lucid's maybe dead. He's got Flash. Nah. I think he's just gonna not use it. Um, there's the passive. Phase Rush. Taking a bunch of damage. He's just running he away. Oh, he has the Flash. And here comes Young Jay. Flash away from Young Jay, and he's gonna get away. <laughs> because he is monstrously fed, and he has a Karma. Yeah, well, at the ready. Young Jay is on the flank, and no cleanse available. That's a lot of damage. There's two carries from Bro who are here. Surely you can kill Aiming, right? Okay, they finally got him. And now Karis is probably going to die for it. He does have Flash, and Paulo is nearby. I don't think Lucid can kill him alone, although he is trying. And there's the Flash eventually. Wow, what? what? Kingen? Kingen's just in the base, and I guess Lucid's just going to run down Karis? Is anybody going to help him? No, the answer is no. Kingen's going to kill him as uh, Kingen does eventually go down to Morgan here. And now Morgan might meet the same fate. Lucid getting so much value, by the way, out of his passive here, just healing insane amounts in this game. And, uh, well, Young Jake, not very long for this world himself, although he is going to dodge the rest. No! Of and he will be totally. Morgan and Paulo, because they're the ones that going to have to, they, they just have to keep trying, right? Try and do stuff as, yeah, very straightforward here. Fed as real with a Karma, you're not really going to get away from. Oh, that was so much damage on that last Q. Yeah. As we take another look here, actually nicely done by Young Jay. Gets the ultimate on top of aiming, and then I I can't believe it's this close. As Lucid, Lucid is playing Arena. Like this is not a <laughs> Summoner's Rift Maokai. He feels like he's playing Earth. Like he has cooldowns forever. In game number two, Lucy gonna throw out an ult, just try to zone them away. Karis once again not able to do much, takes his Ziggs bomb and a true shot barrage to the face. Uh, is gonna heal up in the fountain. Maybe an angle, but redemption is online now for uh, Kellen, you would imagine. Suppose there's a chance that Lucy got it, but I doubt it. And uh, they are holding on to their base. You know, they do have Azir, they've got an Azir turret, and Young Jay nearly dies to the Ezreal. And uh, here comes Morgan on the flank. They found aiming once again, but the shields are uh, many. And NZ Envy rather is going to fall as he does go to the back line, tries to assassinate aiming, who will not be assassinated, he says. And DK just going to win this game at number two. Young Jake gonna throw one out. He actually does hit aiming, funnily enough, but uh, I don't think aiming's falling in this game once again. The NAR comes in aiming, just gonna flash away from Karis, who has no chance. Down goes Young Jay, and Morgan may be the lucky one here, or is he? As he eats a Ziggs bomb, and down he goes at the very end, and down will go the Nexus. GG, DK gonna take the 2 0 tonight. Before it was tank items, it was Koenig broken and frozen hard. And now it's war mobs and Zeke's. And Zeke's every game. Renekton's <laughs> yeah. nice. uh, fun for, for uh, like a patch. You know? Yeah. That was it. We had some fun um, for a patch. The top gap is absurd. Someone said, <laughs> why is Renekton so strong as they're just making fun of Kingen? <laughs> um, <laughs> Coming for the toss. He's still mimicking Ziggs. <laughs> GG. <laughs>